Howdy champs, my name is Mohit and people today I'm gonna talk about a plugin called Zoomy courtesy zoomy.me forward slash home okay uh, before I actually uh, talk about it further I would like to show you a browser preview straight away so let's uh, preview it up in uh, Google Chrome okay now people notice that this image of uh, a mouse is something that I would I would want to zoom onto and uh, have it expand its size okay notice the moment I hover over it the pointer changes to that plus lens symbol and when I click on it people you can see that now I'm able to move all over the mouse you know and the area within the lens actually uh, you can quite clearly see uh, blows up and shows the uh, the same mouse but you know in an expanded form okay so this was made possible through zoomy courtesy zoomy.me okay really nice plugin people now uh, it's so very easy to set up so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start this project all over again almost from the very beginning so things will become a lot clearer to you okay although there's not too much of a code it's not at all difficult to set up still I would like to start from the very beginning well almost from the very beginning I'm gonna delete a lot of code big chunks of code uh, that this script tag disappear let, let me thrash this uh, let me thrash this too okay and let me also uh, remove whatever is there inside the body tags uh, whatever is inside the body tags people is exactly what is visible on the web page we all know that don't we okay uh, I'm almost at the skeleton look of the HTML document so we have the doc type declaration out here the HTML uh, opens out here the tag opens out here closes out here the head uh, tag opens out here and closes out here in line number 15 okay we don't need this to right we have the meta tag with the care set attribute out here the title goes out here where I have uh, written the word zoomy or zoomy the plugin that is and uh, then we have now this initially won't be there you need to type it out people this is a CDN so uh, what is a CDN CDN stands for content delivery network and it's actually referencing uh, the jQuery package 1.7.2 people it's important that you reference jQuery 1.7.2 through the CDN just the way I've done not the latest jQuery version because uh, that does not work with the Zoomy plugin I've tested it out okay it's got to be uh, exactly spelled out exactly the way I've written out here so that's HTTP colon forward slash forward slash code dot jQuery dot com forward slash jQuery dash one point two point uh, one point seven point two point JS. Uh, please spell it exactly the way it is written out here. Okay, then I need a couple of files, people, which are already lying in my local site folder, and I'm gonna reference them one by one. Okay, so I'm gonna uh, say script and let's say type is text JavaScript like so and then using the uh, source, source attribute I'm gonna reference let's say the zoomy.js file from my local site folder okay there you go and uh, let's close the script tag up now people the zoomy.js file and the next file okay that I'm about to link up uh, can be easily downloaded from my website qualitylessons.net for slash downloads one dot html cool and I'm gonna go with the link tag relationship is it's a it's a style sheet obviously okay the type is uh, text for slash CSS and the href that is the way you actually link up with 
an externally lying uh, CSS file and I'll browse for zoomy.css file. As I said people, the zoomy.css file, the uh, zoomy.js file uh, will all be bundled up uh, along with the HTML document that I'm creating right now and will be available as a free download from my website http colon forward slash forward slash quality lessons dot net forward slash downloads one dot html okay so now that I'm actually done um, I'm actually I have linked up with the external sources through the CDN and through the opening closing script tag and through the link tag people I'm good to go now okay uh, next up people I need to get in the image uh, that I need to zoom in so I'll, I'll head back to the uh, opening closing body tags I'll say insert I'll say image and uh, this time how about uh, this Adobe uh, Dreamweaver icon I'm gonna change the image this time alright and uh, let's say Dreamweaver let's say ok and people it's actually pushed in the image out here okay mm. next up people what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go out here where it says classic I'm gonna reset the classic okay so that I have the properties pane uh, opened up I'm gonna go where it says the source basically uh, points to the location of the Dreamweaver file. I'm gonna copy this up. So let's, let's say Control uh, A, Control C, and paste it where the link is. So I'm gonna push it out here where the link is. I'm gonna hit Enter. Now notice the way the code has actually changed. So we have the opening uh, uh, A tag out here, or the anchor tag which closes out here. We have the href attribute pointing to the same Dreamweaver image, the PNG image. Uh, we have the image uh, uh, going out here the width is 256 the height is 256 I'm gonna alter the width and the height people coming down out here I'm gonna shrink it so I can actually zoom on it obviously uh, let's shrink it to uh, let's say 150 each okay so that's 150 151 that's okay I've just shrunk it down let's take up a, a, a browser preview at this point to see how things look like right now okay so people notice that this is the Dreamweaver image which is actually a link and if I click on it it, it uh, obviously expands because it's linked up to the bigger image right cool so uh, the zooming plugin has not taken effect as of now okay uh, it's gonna do so very very soon S now not only that people I'm gonna go out here where we have the opening anchor tag and apply the class zoom to it if I'm gonna drop down I don't see the class zoom out here as uh, yet I'm gonna uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna uh, come out here and manually apply the class zoom okay why did I actually do that will become very clear very soon cool okay uh, I'm gonna go out here and push in opening closing script tags I'm gonna write a little bit of uh, jQuery so type this text JavaScript which is this right in the head of the document people this should go in the head of the document and okay fine so in lines 11 12 and 13 is where the uh, jQuery will go in so I'm looking for the document to get ready before I can do anything else so I'm gonna say document uh, dot ready okay so the document dot ready functionality when the DOM has initialized and the when the document is ready to be manipulated I'm gonna run the zoomy plugin and how do I do that I'm gonna reference the class zoom people that I've attached to this anchor tag right so it's very very simple uh, all I need to do is put the dollar sign out here and I'm actually pushing the selector quotation marks a dot to reference the class zoom 
which is uh, it's gonna pop up zoom okay very cool dot zoomy okay parenthesis parenthesis semicolon in the very simplest form and let's see how this actually affects things let's bring up the browser to take up a browser preview and uh, now people notice that when I hover I see the uh, the plus symbol and when I actually click in I'm able to zoom okay now I'm gonna push in uh, an additional optional parameter okay and uh, that parameter is called zoom size okay so I'm gonna come out here okay now people the default zoom size is 200 you can actually uh, uh, play around with it so let's let's change it to how about 150 let's see what kind of a, a change it actually makes um, to the things and not only that people where we have the image you know I would like to push in some uh, margin as well so that I can actually bring it somewhere in you know not very close to the edges of the page so you can see it very clearly so I'm gonna beg your pardon so we we're gonna have uh, inline style going out here and let's say margin of uh, 150px okay it's 150 actually beg your pardon 150px and uh, additional optional parameter zoom size set to 150 not the default uh, 200 let's see how it actually changes things right see people this is the way uh, you see the the lens is actually uh, you know the way it's actually zooming in has actually changed in fact things will become clear if I change it to a different value let's say 250 now let's see how different it is from the earlier uh, preview right okay let's uh, go even bigger let's go with 350 So there you go, people. Um, so you you can uh, have different, you know, uh, zoom uh, sizes applied. Let's go with uh, barely a hundred. Let's see what happens this time. Right. Very, very cool. So people, I hope you like this tutorial uh, on the, you know, the zoomy plugin. And I also hope that you'll uh, subscribe to me, you'll like this uh, uh, tutorial, you'll comment and you'll keep coming back for more, won't you? Have a good day. Bye-bye. Peace.